Well, the Tucson house downtown has served a pub as a pro public housing for years, but during the pandemic, they started to open their doors for the homeless. Nine on your side's Greg Bradbury shows us how they're working to connect the two communities. At the Tucson house, residents are coming together to create works of art. Denise Lopez is the project manager. She says this is a big step forward to changing perspectives. Being able to provide this event is going to allow us to let the people who have been living here for such a long time hopefully see these new people from a different lens and a different perspective. The complex houses around 100 people who were once homeless. They help them integrate back into the community. I think it's just a lot harder to to learn to be yourself again because you're in a constant game of survival. Got a fresh start here. Cabrino Fonzarelli was homeless but has been at the Tucson house for eight months now. He says this has been an invaluable stepping stone. People should be allowed to, you know, have X amount of dollars and be able to say, hey, I can get off of this. I can get myself out of that rut of poverty that I'm in. Prior to the pandemic, he had plans to start a CPR business. He is now nearing that goal. The art exhibit showing them in a way they all hope to be seen. We're going to have them singing. They're going to be playing their guitars. They're going to be reciting their poems. And hopefully this will allow the community to see each other in that light. Instead of just a, a tenant or a resident, they become an art piece. You know, they become that art piece. That's them. Now the art projects they're doing this week all lead up to a showcase on Friday. Reporting in Tucson, Greg Bradbury, KGUN 9, on your side. Well, continuing with homelessness in Tucson in 2020, the city of Tucson reported over 1,600 people experiencing homelessness. That's up from nearly 1,400 in 2019. People with mental illness are more likely to experience it, as are people with history in the criminal justice system and people with a history of substance abuse. That's all according to the city of Tucson.